What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Otobigmus species violet, the Cameron violet beauty centipede. In my opinion, probably the best pet beginner centipede. So, let's get into it. What this species lacks in size, it certainly makes up for in beauty with a bright red head, violet body and red terminal legs. This centipede is a must have in any collection and they are extremely active as well. Originating from Cameroon, the species prefers a more humid environment, around 65-70%. to 70%. This can be provided by misting the enclosure regularly and overflowing water dish. The water dish itself should not be deep, this is to prevent drowning. I'd recommend using tattoo ink, pot, ink pots or small bottle caps. Sphagnum moss is also great for retaining moisture, however it's not required so long as you mist the enclosure once or twice a week. Temperatures should be around 24 to 26 Celsius, so around 75 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. This can be provided by a heat mat on the side of the enclosure with a thermostat or a room heater. Now it's important that you put the, th the heat mat on the side of the enclosure because arthropods burrow to escape heat. So if it's under the enclosure, they can't escape the heat and they'll just end up cooking themselves. As with most myriapods, cross ventilation is key. This can be done by by poking holes in the sides of the enclosure. Make sure the holes are no bigger than one third the size of the centipede's head. This is necessary to stop escape. With a centipede this small, it can be pretty difficult. I would recommend heating up a pin head, a pin head or a needle, and poking multiple holes into the sides of the enclosure. I'd recommend placing these near the lid to stop the to stop the centipede trying to bite me. Feeding should happen twice a week with small prey items, although they can tackle prey prey items larger than themselves. Small invertebrate feeders, pinhead crickets, lateralis roach nymphs, tiny mealworms, small locusts if you can get them, etc. Other food items should be provided like raw chicken chicken liver, pre-killed invertebrates, fish like tuna and salmon, sometimes fruit. Uneaten items should be removed after 24 hours to prevent mold growth or harm to the molting centipede. It's fascinating to watch these centipedes eat and no doubt you'll have fun feeding them. Enclosure should be a minimum of the length of, a, of the centipede plus a third of its length. Of its length. This species likes to dig so I use three to four inches of substrate for burrowing. Hides should be provided to make your centipede feel at home. As stated before, a water dish should be provided. These can be handled, although I wouldn't recommend it as they do still possess a weak venom and you could easily ca cr crush them. They are very small and you can lose track of them easily, so I'd recommend interaction should be, le should be kept to maintenance and feeding only. So, thanks for watching. Here's some footage of my Otto Sigma species violet.